You know, I often get the, the question uh, a lot, uh, what do I do? And uh, over, the, over time, I, I've been able to uh, really put together um, a pretty basic uh, understanding of how I could explain that. And uh, when I'm asked what a behavior analyst is and, and what I do, um, the first thing that I generally tend to say is, um, as a behavior analyst, we work with individuals that may have a, uh, an intellectual or developmental disability or may have some type of a communication deficiency. Um, and that encompasses uh, a, a great deal of, of what we do. Um, as a behavior analyst, um, we, we do observations, um, we do assessments, um, paper methodologies such as interviews with individuals. Um, we take data. Um, when I speak about data, I'm referring to um, if I'm uh, looking at an individual in a natural setting, which is very important, a natural setting uh, would be a person's home or a person's classroom or a person's uh, work environment, um, and try to, uh, to get an understanding, a, a, a large understanding of what the behaviors are that need to be targeted. So as a behavior analyst, we want to go in and we're very specific in what we, what we term operationally defining the behavior. So a lot of times when you're, when you're trying to look at, um, at uh, trying to get at a, a function of a behavior, function being what is the reinforcement of the behavior, um, you term that the function of the behavior. So you want to identify what that is. One of the things that sets us apart is once we determine the function of the behavior, we can then move on to putting uh, uh, appropriate teaching skills or develop a program that is going to reinforce more appropriate behavior.